Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Xenogears. I think this one's episode 10. Uh, last time we started the operation to recapture Ave from Gebler and Shikan, and we're going on this covert... Uh, oh, that was dumb of me. We're going on this covert op here with the Fey uh, to distract the main four... Oh god. Well, I fucked this one right up, huh? Let's waste some fuel. We've got somebody who can repair us right there. Anyway, so now we're now we're doing a big distraction operation, a big false flag, making Ave think that Kislev is starting a major offensive to draw forces away. Uh, and if I can stop being the ultimate Bumble King in this cave here, ooh, a level that that's useful. Um, if I can stop being the ultimate Bumble King in this cave, um, I'll be able to continue on with that. So, that's where we are. That's what we're doing. Um, little clerical stuff. Um, so, I've been informed recently that um, I'm a complete idiot uh, for playing this game and putting up an LP of this game um, without knowing anything, well, knowing next to nothing about Evangelion. Uh, because apparently this story has some like one-to-one -one shit with the Evangelion series, um, including some of the characters, which right away I can think Faye is a pretty good Shinji, probably, and uh, Ellie in design, at least, appears to be very similar to uh, Asuka Langley. And so I'm going to be rectifying that very soon. I'm going to sit down and watch the whole goddamn thing. And then I'll be able to talk more about, hey, this thing that came out right after this really popular thing. Uh, so, clearly this guy who the director was watching Evangelion, I don't know. It seems like that's what... That's what the LP is going to turn into after I watch it, but apparently it's, it's damn near required reading. Oh, I've used all my ep. Great. Brat! I could have just used some Rosasol and been fine, but... Fuck it. We can burn a little fuel, I think. At least we're getting good experience for this. Oh, I never explained that. One of the reasons I was talking about how I would um, go and level as Fey... Uh oh. A Gabler girl unit. Um, one of the reasons I would go and level his face solo at the uh, the underground hideout um, is because of the way that experience works in this game, and it's very similar to the way that experience works in a lot of other games at the time, which is each enemy gives you a set amount of experience. So, let's say I'm fighting three enemies that, um, give 500 experience apiece, right? Uh, that pool of experience, 1500 experience, would be split between the number of people in your party. Mmm, coffee. So, if you have three characters, 1500 experience divided by three is 500 experience per character. Two characters, you get 750? Yeah, 750 experience per character. And one character on his own, his or her own, would get the full 1500 experience. So there are a few characters that get a chance to go out in either pairs or um, solo. Usually it's Faye when it's solo. Actually, I think it's almost always Faye when it's solo. Um, and 
some of those characters tend to be the more important characters, and you almost always end up having them in the party. Yeah, punch you. These guys aren't very hard. Um, so at some point, it's important to just, like, take Faye out, or take Faye and Satan out, and just level them all the way up. Um, it, it's, it is beneficial to do it, oh, here's some new death blows. There's a jumping spinning kick. Um, it's especially important, um, to kind of build that base for the latter half of the game, um, because part of how the, la or part of, uh, one of the poor things about the, the, the second disc is that there's content missing, so you jump from, like, one set piece to another, and when you do those jumps, uh, they didn't adjust the... What's the word I'm looking for? They didn't adjust the... Uh, enemy level? There we go. I can speak now. They didn't adjust the enemy level to account for the fact that you're basically missing out on, like, three hours of exploration and leveling and stuff like that. You're just going from, like, a set-piece dungeon to a set-piece dungeon. So you get... You, there are these jumps in the second half. Man, these guys are really slapping the shit out of me. There are these jumps in the second half where, like, right in the beginning, you have to stop and you have to start leveling because at the beginning of the dungeon, you are going to be incredibly overpowered. Or underpowered, excuse me. Let's see if Ryuten does another number on that fellow there. Is that enough? Yep, that's enough. Cool. Not much of a special forces. But you can mitigate some of the, okay, you're in a new dungeon, stop and start leveling. You can mitigate some of that by um, getting some of the leveling for your main characters out of the way in the first half. And, like, the second disc is way off. I'm, but I'm not going to lie to you here. The second, the second disc is way off. So, <coughs> excuse me, the second disc is way off, but you can still kind of build a foundation. Um, and grinding in this game is, is a very specific affair compared to other games. Like Final Fantasy VII, you equip the materia you want to grow, you throw in the characters that you want to level, and then you just go for a couple hours. In this one, you have to think about the death blow system, which is the best way to very quickly unlock when you don't have death blows for certain characters, is the best way to unlock um, high-powered attacks for them, um, either on foot or in gear. And so, if you take the time early on with, like, Faye and Satan to level up, or to level them up and equip their death blows, or unlock their death blows, is a better way to put it. Um... Look at this horror movie setup thing here. Clearly she's traumatized by this. Anyways, if you get that out of the way, whenever you're introduced to a new character or you get to a point where you can start um, grinding levels or whatever, um, you can then use those characters as support and then use the new characters whose death blows you need to unlock to focus on their combos so that they can unlock the stuff. Um, now, you get to a point later on in the game where it's just like, bam, everybody gets new death blows, and then that kind of... I don't want to say gets thrown out of the water, but at that point, it's just... You know, you're kind of starting from square one. Um, but building a foundation early on makes the, it makes the first disc go faster. It gives you a better setup uh, for the second disc, where the pace of the game changes quite a bit. Um, I mean, overall, it's just kind of a smarter thing to do. Plus, I mean, you know, part of any RPG is the grind, I would say. 
Um, especially these older ones. And don't even get me started on, like, some even older ones. Like, I think Secret of Mana had a ridiculous amount of grinding in a bunch of the older ones. The original Final Fantasy had a ridiculous amount of grinding on it. In it. There we go. Um... And I don't want to be, I don't want to sit there with you guys and be like, here's the grind, I'm not going to say anything for two hours and throw on, you know, like a YouTube video and have this going in the foreground and that going in the background and I'm just making sure my characters don't die when I hit the buttons. It seems kind of annoying. So these guys are using this drug called Drive, which apparently seems to be some sort of ridiculous performance enhancer um, that causes mental deterioration. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so now Ellie is taking hers despite having had a traumatic experience with it where apparently she murdered the shit out of a bunch of people. So this is Ellie's Gear Vierge. Um, it's actually... Except for the obviously, like, ridiculous... Also, look at that. <laughs> look at that little character picture. I'm high and mighty now, and I'm high. Literally. I get the feminine design to show off, you know, kind of character traits and blah, 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 blah. You know what? I don't need booster for this fight. Shit, I barely even need fuel for this fight, but that kind of spoils everything. Little hearts. Um, but the gear can do some cool stuff. <clears throat> and it's... it's... Um, it, it's... Attack power is super duper low, unfortunately. Um, but Ellie is an ether character. And her gear can be very, very useful for uh, fights with enemies who are... This is a big deal, what's happening right here, by the way. Um, Ellie's gear is great for grinding. When you run into, like, like four to eight enemies on the screen and you just want to burn them all, um, Ellie can do that. Ah, delicious coffee. Uh, Ellie's gear also has air rods, which are some of the most wasted high power things ever. Um, but it's basically her. Um, the air rods are like she. Her ether abilities are so strong that she can basically telepathically control these things, um, which is a big deal. <laughs> Drive can only draw upon the potential. That's dumb. It's like saying the drug is just a mentally deteriorating cheerleader in the background saying, You can do it! Focus! So, obviously, up to this point, it's been kind of a show battle at this point. Um, and we do get to a point here shortly where we actually have to fight her. Um, and I think it's here. I might be wrong. I'll show off my uh, first level 3 gear combo here soon, shortly. <clears throat> Your emotions are being controlled by the drug! The drug does some weird stuff because obviously it's changing her personality, but she goes like super like elitist or something, I don't know. She becomes a tremendous asshole. I'll kick you in the face, yeah! That combo is actually like... <clears throat> If that was person-on-person -person combat, that would suck. 
because it's it's a it's a fucking roundhouse kick to the face, followed by a a, a punch to the jaw. Do I not have the fucking? Oh, I don't. I don't have any level threes. Damn it. Oops. I guess I lied. I'm just basically waiting on levels at this point to get um, to get my first level three. That's right, because my first one is Tenbu, um, which has a death blow is the Triangle Square X one. Um, and I don't remember. <clears throat> nice, nice hit, girly. There. I don't remember what level you unlock that, but I should have it before I get to the next fight here, and I'll definitely have it before um, a fight that's coming up later on where I definitely need it. Also, look at how quickly my fuel has gone here. I went from having almost full fuel to just over a third. Oh, that's a level three. That's a level three uh, combo she just used there. She should be done soon. Damn, girl. Really giving me a run for my money. It would be funny if I lost here. <clears throat> See, that does a lot of damage to me in the boss fight, but in general it does. Here we go. She actually wears you down pretty good. I will kill you painlessly. Aw, that's so sweet of you, girl. She's fighting the droogs. If I remember correctly, that is the end of the fight. Making six! Big robots going ahead to six! Oh yeah! Put my robot part in your robot part! I can feel the metal grinding, it feels so good! I know, there's something wrong with me. Oh. I love these mo early morning recording sessions. She's clearly not happy about this. <laughs> I don't think she... I mean, she wasn't happy to take the stuff in the beginning, but... She didn't want to fight Faye, what can I say? <laughs> Flicking around like a trapped butterfly. I wonder if she has a butterfly tramp stamp. <laughs> I know she doesn't. Come down, girl. Just relax. Here, eat this chocolate. Calm down. You look pretty. That's not what she said. <laughs> Explosion! Actually, not really, but she's going nuts. Well, kind of. So what does this say about Gears? Because clearly she was bursting with power there. I think gears amplify the power of the pilot. I think that's the idea. Because there are ether machines in there, which amplify ether abilities, which is why Faye's, you know, teeny little energy ball guided shot on the ground turns into this fucking Kamehameha energy beam key blast. It doesn't amplify his later uh, damaging... Uh, ether abilities, and Faye gets some crazy ones. 
mean, he is the main character, so. <sighs> Dominated by some unknown power. There's a power in me. She says she wants to protect her allies, but she never really comes across as liking the people in her unit. I mean, there might be a moment of that right at the very end where she's, like, chastising them as a mentor, but... <laughs> Lick each other. <laughs> These two get some pretty decent heart to hearts in the begin in the first half ish of the game. Man, I'm almost out of coffee. I'm gonna feel bad. Oh. Why is friends in quotation? Also, where's the rest of her unit? Couldn't one of them just kind of, you know, shoot Faye? The look of the Gebler officer's uniform doesn't suit her at all. She doesn't wear anything else the rest of the damn game. Alright, so there's her weird boss fight thing, and now we're on the second half of this, so first things first, we're gonna fucking repair ourselves. And I think he might have some... oh, no, same items. But the fact that you can repair and refuel me is important. I like that it costs so little to repair and refuel. I hope to see you again, and we're gonna save, because I don't want to have to do that again. I will save over the same save file. No need to really rotate right now, I don't think. Finished! Alright, and let's see if I remember correctly. Yeah, we're ready to go on all of these, so what I'm gonna do... Nah, I'll just keep going. I was gonna say I was... Oh, damn. Immediate fight. And I think I'm still out of... Roses, or I'm still out of EP, so I'm gonna use my Roses all and then buy some more off of the repair bot there, don't you know? That was fast. So it kind of gives me a chance to get experience. Yep, you already said that, thanks. So first let's go on character items. I could spend that money. Items, Rosasol, boop, boop, boop. And we'll keep on keeping on. There is a... Uh, see... Uh, bleh, 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 bleh. Can't talk today. There's a sequence coming up that's, uh... Pretty tough, actually. <laughs> ah, excuse me. Get him! Yeah, there's a sequence coming up that's pretty tough, so while I am going to be... Um... Hoping against hope that I get that first level 3... Um... Combo attack. I'm not going to be wasting anybody's time trying to get it, because I don't know what uh, level that comes in at. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and besides, we're right where we need to be anyways. 
Fine! Interrupt your own... text dialogue thing, game. I don't care. <laughs> these things down. These things give a good amount of experience as well. And they can't hurt me with their basic attack. Their charging attack, yeah. Those things are great for grinding here as Faye. Like, this is a nice little spot to just grind out because you got a little repair dude down at the bottom. Just hop around. Which I don't know how the random battle... Oh, it didn't let us even read the thing. wonder why we're cutting back here. Just kind of over there jerking it in the corner. Oh no, he was jerking it into the young master's cup. No, I'm kidding, he was cleaning it and it broke. I'm a terrible human being, I'm sorry! So there's a premonition, and now we get to do the Bart. Take the remaining men and open the castle gate. So what this implies is that he's got... A decent amount of people who've either infiltrated through the city in disguise or have straight up fought through and occupied the city. Which, if he has enough people to occupy the capital city, um, he, he's a bigger force to be reckoned with than it appears. But I don't think that's the case. I have a feeling he just has a bunch of guys who infiltrated. Which, if the guards are worth their salt, they would notice that. But I don't think they do. Alright, you guys ready to run through this again? We're gonna do it. Let's move! First thing, I'm gonna talk to this guy. Because now he recognizes us. Recognizes us. Ugh. So this old guy has totally been around since the royal family was in power. Totally recognizes him. So we're not going to save. Everything will be fine. We've done this already. We know what to expect, right? Let's do it. Oh God! So this is one of the few times that Shikan and Bart actually meet face to face. And he stays pretty cool for the fact that he's looking at the dude who killed his dad. Uh oh, so they saw through the plan. And Satan recognizes it immediately. So I wonder if they've... I wonder if they've figured this is going to be their plan for... Ever, I don't know. So the forces at Nissan are getting... <laughs> wiped out. I feel almost like this is an inherited war situation, and I mean, it's not really, but like, Bart is now having to deal with the fact that Satan, Huga, or that's the same character, Satan, Zigurd, Ramses, Miang, uh, I guess maybe Vandercom, that all these people who used to be comrades are now basically fighting amongst each other now that they've taken sides in this major war. And the fact that she's the one talking and Shikan's just there shows how much of a puppet he actually is. Ah! She talks shit, like, right on cue, she talks shit about him. That's awesome.
This says a lot about Solaris that she's just just this straight up just like I don't care who's fucking here as long as y'all help us complete our shit. Y'all are, are so you actual people are so beneath my need to care. That's awesome. Master Manipulator. He's more pissed about her than he is about him at this point. What? Hey, remember when Satan was... ...using that thing? I think it would have been funny if that ended up being Satan's gear. Laugh my ass off. Hey, it's the outro! Woo! You know, from the from the videos. Y'all ready for some really shitty wonky animation? <laughs> You'll know what I'm talking about the moment it happens. The fact that he was able to deftly land that in that little area is crazy, but also, it broke. Wow, that was a... bugged out audio thing. I like how the audio slows down like that. Here it comes! Here comes the terrible animation! It's happening! Oh my god! That was strange. Wasn't it? I think that was strange. You should think that was strange. The dumbfounded look on his sprite's face. He's sitting there thinking my opponents are fucking idiots. Ew! I'm so gross, I'm sorry. <clears throat> so the main part of the plan has failed. <clears throat> Which is just kind of leaving everybody else out to dry. Everybody else is more or less as good as dead because now they don't really have anywhere to go. So I don't remember if they actually let us... They do let us move around here. So we're gonna save here. Because some shit's about to go down. Glad I could spoil it all for you. All. Girl. Oop. Oh, oh, right there. City of Peace. Peace. Alright, let's hurry, because all the good stuff's about to happen. So they throw all these cool little scenarios in here, into the game, that change up the, the general way the game is played, and this is one of them. Uh, this... This image is kind of trash. I mean, I guess the idea is you're looking at it through a sandy haze, but, you know. So the military man asks Bart, and Bart's just like, straight on, just go. Just dumb. You're an idiot. Did I call him Bart? Hey, I don't remember if I did or not. I don't remember what I was drinking a little while ago. Coffee! It's a coffee cup. There's coffee. Don't fall behind the kid. Mm -hmm. 
So this part's really interesting because... Because it is. You get to see what the enemy commander is thinking. Which, granted, this is your first, like, major military maneuver. So it's interesting that they set it up this way. So this guy literally just wants to use his big gun. Yeah, this guy's actually an idiot. The big dumb face paint and the stupid look on his face suggests as much. He's an idiot! He's a complete idiot. And this guy knows it. So look at this. We get to move around in here and like try to avoid enemies and whatnot. Some you can't avoid, like this fight here. Um, you can totally go through and take out everybody. Uh, there's mines you want to avoid, obviously. But you can totally go through and take out everybody. Um, but this is a very long, very protracted fight. Um, which caps with a hell of a fucking boss fight at the end. See, does that one shot? It does not shit. Well, that was a waste of a turn. But I'm gonna do it again, just because I don't want to waste fuel at this point. Um, but no, the boss fight at the end is actually losable, like very easy to lose. So notice I'm taking shots from these enemies. <laughs> There's these guys I can run into. Anyway, so we broke through the first line, and they just straight up shot the shit out of the battleship and took it down. This is so ridiculous! Like, 2,000 an hour, I'm assuming that's supposed to be kilometers, because this is Japanese, so that's about, what, Mach 2? Isn't it? So we're gonna have to fight at least... ...one gear here. Oh, maybe not. You're just gonna be able to run right the fuck through. Okay, that was easy. Wow. I don't remember ever having that easy of a time getting through here, but there's the flagship with the big giant dumb gun that this guy's trying to use to obliterate these gears, but he can't. Like, he's trying to fight a battleship battle against jets. So imagine taking a battleship and trying to shoot down jets doing Mach 2. Go down! Oh, you're gonna die. One way or the other, you're dead here. Either from Ramses coming and actually killing you, or us doing the job. So this fight's a little bit annoying. So we're gonna start with a booster. And I think these little ones take... The little ones are a big pain in the ass, but they go down in one heavy hit. 
And we need to take out the main gun before it shoots us, because it does a ton of damage. So work up our combo meter. Oop. We work up our combo meter on these guys. And then attack the fuck out of this thing. And the booster's important in this fight. Just because we don't want to get hit with that damn gun. Although I think one or two more combos will do it. I hope. So remember that big gun that he was, you know... It's it's gone now. You 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 fucked up, bro. So there's level 30. Ten boot. Yeah, we got our level three. Perfect. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> You're such a fucking idiot, Vandercom. <clears throat> God, I need water. How were you given command of an entire fleet? He must be a quote-unquote pure-blood Solarian. Because just ability alone wouldn't have gotten him here. Maybe before Gears he was good, but... Now he's just like... I mean, he's just... He's fucking useless. I mean, what? Maybe... Ten gears. Fucking garbage trucks. Maybe ten gears decimated an entire fleet using old. What is word? Using old tactics. They literally crashed the DMZ and took out one side of the DMZ. That's crazy. So now we also know we don't really have much in the way of information from the other side. Oh, what is this Sailor Moon Magical Girls transformation shit? No, I'm kidding. It's supposed to be very... foreboding. Oh, God! Oh. Uh-oh. It's explosioning. Actually, I think this is literally that thing ripping its way out of the side of the ship. Yep. So he has this big, crazy gear. With what, like, two forearms, something like that? With a big, giant gun inside of it, which... I mean, you haven't seen yet, but it has a big giant gun inside of it. God, that shaky cam is super annoying. It's covered in, it's covered in smaller guns. And he's like, well, my big gun didn't work, so I'm going to switch to this basically tank with arms. Which is kind of a cool idea. So this guy takes very little damage. That was my heavy hit. Dora. So, like, I've got these guys, but they don't do any damage. They never do any fucking damage, and all they can do is charge and attack. So there's no point to having them here. Uh, this is the Fae Show. Um, they'll get to a point where they're useful a little later on. <clears throat> um, this is the gimmick right here. He picks up our people and uses them to hit us. Um, he does a ton of damage. Alright, so here's our first level three. It's just a bigger combo, but at least it does a fair amount of damage. Oh, but look at the damage he's doing to us, and I'm already at half, uh, half fuel for Faye here. Um, which, granted, is because I used the booster in the last fight. Oh. This guy is trouble. 
I'm only attacking with Fey one because it's obviously useless to attack with the other guys. Um, yeah, they don't do anything. I guess I can show off their attacks. There's their square attack. Oh! I guess I had to hit it a certain amount of times. So there's a big giant gun underneath the thing's head. And now these guys will actually do damage. And I was thinking I needed to hit a damage threshold, but I guess it was an attack threshold, so I guess I fucked this fight up. Oops! That was, uh... I didn't mean to do that. Oopsies. Stop hitting me, it hurts, I don't like it. Oh, he shot the shit out of me, look at that! That's like... 11 or 12% of my overall health, that shot. And there's no wind-up to it. And Faye's almost dead. So hopefully this, uh fight concludes quickly. And now's the time when these guys become useful. I guess I'll leave the booster on. So look at the amount of experience phase getting here. That should be enough. Yep, that was another level. So I started off this video at what, level 27 or 28 and now I'm now 31. It's a hell of a game here. So here's a new gimmick. Graph out of fracking nowhere. What's up, dude? What do you think he's here to do? Besides be a gigantic fucking problem, which, I mean, that's his... That's all he's here to do, is be a gigantic fucking problem. For realsies, yo. The power! I want the power! Okay, bro. So Graf comes along with this weird fucking chant. Just because, like, clearly he's been watching Faye. And he's like, I want to cause problems. So he basically supercharges this guy, even though we've just beaten his ass. This is a hell of a time to switch, because it seems like what's happening with Faye is a little more important than this right now. Ugh! Oh, back pain. So we super failed. Withdraw and reconsider. So everything is unraveling, all the work we've done in the past nine episodes, nine and a half, before our eyes. Everything's going real bad. Master! Behind. I don't know why he knows this. Torpedus! Oh god! We're about to get fucked up, yo. Torpedoes confirmed with the sonar! <laughs> Shit's going real bad. I wonder how we're gonna get out of this. I can't think off the top of my head 
of a point in any other RPG that gets as dire as this. Because basically the entirety of the force that we've built up so far, or BART more specifically, is now being systematically dismantled. And granted, everything seems to be going just fine up to this point right here. Um, except for Bart failing to retake the capital, but it's like, okay, that's fine. We can just kind of, you know, retreat and whatever, but it's about to get a lot worse. A lot worse. So they got shot real good. So this is a well-run ship, clearly. <laughs> Juxtaposed against Vandercom, who's sitting there like, No! Person who's here to do the thing that he's supposed to do, you're stupid, I don't want to use my gun. Also, this shit lo ship looks fucking awesome, doesn't it? Hell of a bridge. I like the, I like the other bridge, but... There's a little more backstory. Just a little more. Oh, back pain. Like, so Zigur didn't just, like, really sneak off. <laughs> like, Ramses knew. And it made Ramses real grumpy. Also, look at him being all young and stuff with two eyes. Good for him. He's got two eyes. You did it, buddy. So this is clearly a... bitter betrayal for Ramses. But, here we are, back to this. That's pretty blunt. I said blood. <clears throat> so they crippled it. Now they're waiting for terms. Damn, that thing got hit good. That's right by the bridge. And now we're back to here. Oh yeah, remember this was happening? Vandercom now has the power. Ultimate power. Actually, this is where this is where things start to like totally unravel. We don't have time for this junker and then he literally gets annihilated. Look at him, he's gone stupor saying Ermagerd, stupid goatee. Is he a, is he is he a neckbeard? Is that what's going on with his sprite? Like it looks like he's got like a neck goatee, or like he was super muscly at one point, but now he's getting old and starting to get fat, so he start growing in the beard to like define where his chin is. Y'all know the type. So this thing is now OP as fuck. And Faye is, uh, probably not in a position to even comprehend what the fuck's going on here. So look at those big-ass sprite pixels. It's fine. It's interesting how Faye's head is, is these collection of giant pixels, whereas the chairs and the cockpit around him is a little more defined. Like, clearly they just blew up the sprite. For this perspective. It's fine. I think it's fine. It's a good use of existing materials. If they if they if they had a, a more detailed zoomed in sprite, people would probably be complaining about not being able to see it all the time. <laughs> this is great. Faye's losing it. 
Oh man. Oh, what's going on? What's happening here? Is he gonna take the drive, eh? No, I'm kidding. That doesn't happen. Also, the cockpits in these are cool. Here's a cool looking cockpit. There's a lot of unused space, though. Uh-oh. Something may happen, Faye. Oh my god, Becky. I wonder what's gonna happen there. Also, this is cool. And this, I think this is the first time you get to see this. But that area is literally a helm. So Bart is now piloting the thing while piloting his gear. This is some Gurren Lagann shit. From before Gurren Lagann. So they're damaged, surrounded, there isn't anything they can do. Sand can't be granulated. I don't get what that means. I know there's a way to basically give sand the property of liquid, and I would assume that the way this thing dives under the sand is by causing that to happen. Although it's never really explained. But it is like the only ship that has that uh, capability as far as I know. Or as far as we know up to this point. We gon' do it! Big blaze of glory! Like, clearly he's taking the only option he has here outside of actually surrendering. But... This is still stupid. Eh, Sigurd brings up a good point, though. Oh, man! Yeah! Get hyped! Get pumped! Get ready for this! Y'all ready for a big fight? We don't do it! Here we go. An enemy gear engaged, direct course, enemy vessel engine noise increasing, speed increase. Steering noise confirmed, course change taking evasive action. <laughs> They're laughing at how futile this is. <laughs> Namthal, I don't know, it's just a random name. Wait! So suddenly, like, the perimeter of the fleet is exploding. Wonder what's happening. What's happening? Oh shit! Look at that! Ah, that was the first time you see it! Oh shit! So this is a big deal. It's also single-handedly destroying everything. Even Bart's like, what the fuck? Is it heading here? Stephen King's It is now on, has entered the battle. The Demon of Elru. <laughs> so at this point, the first time you play through this, you don't know what the fuck's going on. I mean, you might have an idea if you're perceptive, but like... Look at this badass fucking gear. 
Are you straw hog? What? <laughs> it's literally glowing with sexual power. Alright, y'all ready for some real shit? We gonna fight. And he's just instantly there. He launches him. Now get him with the suplex. <laughs> oh shit! That gear is fucking badass looking. Like, look at that. Even Mayang's gear in the back is badass. So they keep asking about him and Faye. So, you know, th think, think about that. Uh oh. Y'all ready for a fight? It's gonna be a real fight. Between these guys here. So this is the head of Gebler, the commander. So clearly his gear's got to be badass as fuck. Oh no, never mind. So showing the crazy difference in power between this gear and like everybody else. Big crazy red gear. Guha! It's fucking destroyed. It's brutal. He just kicks the shit out of him. Fucking amazing. Oh shit! Now he gonna fight me! Y'all ready to do this? Idiot gear! Oh wait, maybe not yet. I still have one arm. <laughs> This shit is crazy if you think about it, because at this point, except for Graf, you haven't really run into anybody. You don't even know how strong Graf really is because you haven't fought him yet and you haven't seen what his gear can do. But then this thing comes out of nowhere, destroys half a fleet, kicks the ever-living shit out of the commander, and then sets his sights on you. Which is nuts! Alright, y'all ready for this? Here's the fight! Just kidding, we're gonna do this next time. <laughs> so stay tuned, you guys. Um, we're gonna have this fight next time. Thanks for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you ready for the dramatic conclusion on the next episode? Bye now!